As the use of technology in social media grows, so is the outbreak of bullying and cyberbullying. That's right, Chris. And the effects are more serious than you may think. People right here in Middle Tennessee are working to change these daunting statistics. Learn to live life outside of the box, people, while you are young because you're going in one when you die. These strong words echoed in Laverne Middle School's auditorium during a recent anti-bullying rally. We actually traveled throughout the U.S. putting on anti-bullying rally tours, which teach kids the importance of not bullying, why bullying isn't cool, what to do if you are being bullied, and how to effectively tell someone. Tiffany Love is trying to prevent kids from becoming another suicide statistic. Rutherford County was ranked number three in the uh, Tennessee school systems of bullying statistics. So what we've done is with our pledge cards, we make those children sign those pledge cards. We report into them. We talk to their teachers. We talk to their families. And then they let us know what's going on with the bullying situation at school. And that's how we number our statistics. And I, Emily Kinzer, promise not to bully, be an onlooker in a bullying situation, or engage in bullying of any kind. These pledges at the anti-bullying rally are just one of many actions being done to stop bullying. For Tiffany, it's personal. She was bullied then became a bully herself. Growing up in a violent home made her want to fight, but not anymore. Now she wants to help. We also teach about the acronym BULLY, which stands for Because You Lack Love Yourself. And we actually bring out a casket on stage to teach children that their words can actually put someone in that casket. She sees cyberbullying as a big problem. Anytime that you can hide behind, you know, internet, and not reveal who you are, you can get away with things that most people would not be brave enough to do in person. But she's not the only one who's working for change. There is nothing that we can do right now in Tennessee to stop somebody from assaulting you. They can bully, they can create lies, they can say anything they want, and there's no repercussions for it. Tennessee State Representative Jeremy Faison has proposed a bill in the House that he hopes will help stop cyberbullying. If it falls under cyberbullying, you can petition the local sheriff, and the sheriff can say, hey, we want to see the ISP server for this. I think people would be like, well, all of a sudden my name might be open. It's easy for the bullies to get away with cyberbullying. Say no. Unless there's a court order, you can't get the ISP server number. Bazin is trying to protect the people he serves. I have constituents at home who have been assaulted basically on the internet. He thinks your name should be attached to everything you say on the internet. Now, I'm all about freedom of speech. I, I will fight and die for the First Amendment. But the First Amendment implies that you have your name behind what you said. You, you ought to have your name behind it. If you want to say that, fine. This is America. We believe in freedom of speech. But man up. Put your name that you're the one who said it. He's hopeful this bill will promote change. I really feel like a lot of it will go away. If they realize that you're just saying something and you can be found out immediately who you're, what you're saying. But the World Wide Web isn't all bad. Surf around and you can find dedicated people working to stop this problem. <laughs> We're helping educate parents on what to look for, the tips to, to give the parents advice that maybe they can recognize when their kids are being bullied. Joe Yeager is the founder of the Parents Guide to Social Media on Facebook. He also runs the Anti-Bullying Mom website. This website is helping parents who have kids using social media. We gave them some tips to look for, things like are your kids not using the computer as much as they used to? Do they close the computer or switch an application off when mom or dad walk by? You know, behavior that's out of the ordinary, because that's often a sign that they're being bullied and, and they're afraid. Jaeger got involved two years ago when his daughter came across questionable material online while searching for a popular kids book series. This was really scary for the six-year-old and also for her dad. That's when he knew he had to do something to protect her. Be proactive with your kids. Um, talk to them in advance, online, offline. If you see something that they're doing, talk to them about it. He recommends that parents get involved in what their kids are doing online. Others in the fight agree. Getting people to accept that there's a problem that's big enough in America right now that we need as a society to stop and look at it, that's a tough sell. Definitely is a problem. It's a big problem and we got to keep looking for solutions. Rutherford County Sheriff Markel Drain sees it far too often. Cyberbullying is, is, is the worst for bullying because most kids who are cyberbullied, 
The biggest thing that affect them is the embarrassment because it's different if you bully a kid in front of one or two students or maybe a crowd. But once you do it on Facebook, Instagram, everybody sees it, their friends see it, and their friends see it. So it's the embarrassment that everybody knows about it. So that's what causes kids to go into depression and eventually be suicidal. But the bullies themselves can't be forgotten. Social media guru Dana Boyd recently spoke at MTSU and says they may also be the victims. But one of the things people don't realize often is that those who perpetrate bullying, bullies, are often themselves suffering abuse, dealing with sexuality issues, dealing with mental health struggles, trying to figure out their own place in things, and they're lashing out. So when we go and punish them, it just further reinforces their feeling that they don't belong, and it makes everything worse. Boyd has advice for everyone using social media. Listen, be respectful, be tolerant of differences, you know, and take a moment to realize that the world is bigger than just your friend group. Anyone can be a victim of cyberbullying, even in the comfort of your own room. If you have or know of someone who's been cyberbullied, let them know they're not alone and that they should seek help. Make a pledge not to be a bully. This is an environment where you can connect to people from around the world. Appreciate that. Great story, Emily. Really, really, really pressing issue nowadays. Now, I think it really shows that this is a bigger problem than what many people may expect. That's exactly right, Chris. And really, no one is above to being victim to a, being cyberbullied. It can happen to anyone at any age. Now, Emily, is with, with the Internet evolving, is it any easier to prosecute these crimes? It's really hard to prosecute people for cyberbullying. And, you know, as Representative Faison said, right now there's nothing being done in Tennessee to stop this. So with his bill, he's hoping that IP addresses to, will be released. And with that happening, it would stop cyberbullying because they'll be found out who's doing it really quickly. What's the time frame look like for Representative Faison's bill? Well, he said there's probably not going to be done anything with it this year, but he's hoping to keep working on this and to keep raising awareness about it and hopefully in the next year that something will be done about it. Well, great work once again, Emily. It's definitely an issue that won't Thank be you. going anywhere. That's exactly right. Well, after the break, 